really at a very fundamental level, it's about recognizing that you know, we're all human beings. You know, we're, we're all entitled to a certain amount of, of respect. I think equality is a way of being. Once you have respect, then I think equality follows directly. If I respect you, then we are equal. That everybody gets recognized for the job they are doing and for the quality of the job they are doing, just let people grow in their own way. A lot of our work is based around respect, integrity, honesty and excellence. The core values are a very natural fit with the work of the Diversity and Inclusion Unit. The core values cannot be implemented unless they are underpinned by inclusion and diversity principles. You shouldn't have to think too much about the core values. You should be able to see them, you should be able to hear them and you should be able to you know, feel them. When I first did come to Queen's, it was in the mid-70s when people were sort of getting at each other's throats in these parts. For many years, the focus was on statutory compliance. But in recent times, the Diversity and Inclusion Unit has really shifted that agenda and broadened out the scope of its work beyond um, compliance and looking to you know, best practice. For me, as someone who is both a recent graduate of Queen's and someone who has very, very fond memories of being a student here, I think it's really great to see Queen's taking a step forward on the journey of inclusion and diversity, and ensuring that this campus and everything that it represents in terms of its connection to society within Northern Ireland is reflective of where we are as well. Queen's Gender Initiative has really been a, a driving force in developing and delivering both policies and practices around gender equality. As a university, why would we throw away the brains and ideas and innovation you know, that, uh, that uh, females bring to the world? You know, we'd be much poorer for that, and we have been much poorer for it. It has really been a commitment that has embedded itself over the last 20 years. And so when it comes to Athena Swan then, we already had a bedrock on which to build our advances. We work very closely with Swan Champions and people in QGI to look at issues around pay and equality, to look at issues around promotion, to look at issues around recruitment, to look at issues around retention, to ensure that we have not just a balanced workforce, but we have a truly diverse workforce and that we're just not recruiting um, people from the same backgrounds that we're bringing in that diversity of thought. You know, I see this as an area of work where there will always be challenge and there will always be change. And one of our challenges ourselves is to ensure that we keep listening to people who are coming into that point of their career when they need support. More recently, when we started a family, I had a baby and this is the moment where you really appreciate family-friendly workplace and environment where they are really supportive for different moments of your life. I think Pride was fantastic and that's I suppose testament to a lot of the work that our unit has put into you know, changing the narrative around LGBT within Queen's. When you're walking down through Belfast City Centre behind a banner that says Queen's University Belfast supports Pride, you know, that sends a really important message to people who are standing on the pavements saying, well if you come here, you're coming to a safe, welcoming and inclusive place. We're really delighted to be here today at Belfast Pride, really setting, a, I think, a strong agenda for inclusivity, for equality, for diversity, and really representing, I think, the learning community. We're here with the students and we're really happy to see the amount of staff that are out with Queen's today. It's a really, really, really nice day and families are here, staff are here, all the students are here. Lovely environment. It sends a fantastic message to both the staff members who are gay or LGBT in the, the university, but also students in the university. I love wearing my lanyard, I love wearing my badge. I'd like everybody that works to be able to wear a badge, just to say to, to students coming in that this is a gay-friendly organisation. I think it was fantastic to see such a visible presence from Queen's University at Pride. I think it's a reflection of the visible commitment that the institution is making to diversity and inclusion. 
how do we make our campus more accessible, how do we make our campus more inclusive, is something that universities should be at the forefront of and I'm quite proud that that has happened and is happening. Seeing events like Diwali, uh, Malaysian Cultural Night, uh, then other events which are organized by society, so many different societies over here like the Singapore Society, uh, the African and Caribbean Society. There's plenty of opportunities for you to, you know, to experience different cultures. Instead of traveling to different places, the world is coming to you. You have all the opportunities to gain from that. It's such a rich and such a nice welcoming environment if you're in Belfast. And you'll be surprised that the more amount of people you meet, the more you realize that you don't know anything about the world. Issues around equality in all its shapes and forms are taken seriously. And that is without compromising on the excellence of the research, on the excellence of the teaching, and on the excellence of the friendships that one finds here.